Hey everyone, it's Gabrielle with Oxmoor Auto Group. So Oxmoor Toyota is sponsoring a golf event that St. Vincent de Paul is actually hosting. So I have Jennifer Clark here with me who is with this organization. And Jennifer, I just wanna ask you a couple questions. So can you tell um, everybody what this organization is? So St. Vincent de Paul has been around for over 100 years, and we work with people who are in crisis to help them stabilize and get their lives back on track. And one of the biggest crises that we work with people around is if they become homeless. So we have a men's overnight emergency shelter. We have a plethora of housing options on campus, and all of those housing options come with case management, which we believe is the catalyst for people to be able to get that support and those resources to really be able to come out of crisis and, and move into a, a place where they're more stable and can stay housed. In uh, support of all of that, we also offer different services like the Family Success Center, which is where we are right now, which is an after-school program. So children who have experienced homelessness and housing insecurity have a lot of educational challenges that come along with that. So we provide tutoring here. Um, you're looking at all of our beautiful school supplies that our partner JCPS and our very generous donors have provided for us to help kids get ready for the school year. Even though we're in non-traditional instruction, we still plan on doing some supportive services around tutoring and um, technical support for parents and also providing them the different supplies that they need to help kids get their schoolwork done because they're still doing that. Uh, we also have a food pantry and an open hand kitchen that serves two meals a day to anybody who's in need. Um, and that's what we do. Okay, well, that is wonderful. Now, with COVID-19, has that, you know, hindered any of this? It has been a challenge. I'm okay. very proud of how our organization has been able to cope with those challenges. Mm -hmm. We definitely have um, had some more need for cleaning and right. masks, and we've done a whole lot of work around different protocols to try and keep both our clients and our staff safe. So um, we have masks for everyone who comes in to see us. We do social distance home visits with our case managers now. The open hand kitchen is serving meals to go instead of opening the dining room. So we've okay. changed a lot of what we do, but we're still doing everything that we did before COVID-19 started. Well, that's good. I mean, I was, I'm glad you guys were able to, you know, work around that. Yeah. Um, now, one more thing. So is there anything that you guys really need right now if someone wanted to, you know, I don't know, like backpacks or school supplies? Absolutely. We have a variety of ongoing needs mm -hmm. um, that include home goods like bedding, pillows, okay. different things that people need when they move into a home, especially when they come in with, without a lot um, due to their circumstances. And then COVID-19 related, we continue to go through a tremendous amount of cleaning supplies, masks, gloves, right. all of those types of things. And um, we appreciate any support we can get around that. Okay, and if someone wanted to donate that, could they just drop them off here? They could. Um, they can come to our administration building and just knock on the door. And okay. We will happily take those uh, donations. And also, please visit our website. There's also, we still have volunteer opportunities as well okay. in our food pantry, in our kitchen. So um, feel free to visit our website and learn more about St. Vincent de Paul. Okay, awesome. And I'll have a link to that. So thank you so much, Jennifer, for thank taking you. the time to speak with us. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. I'm over here with Abigail with St. Vincent de Paul. Now they have a golf scramble coming up on the 21st, which is Monday. And we, Oxford Toyota, is sponsoring the hole-in-one with a 2020 Toyota Camry. So Abigail, what does that mean for you guys? So Oxmoor Toyota has been involved with the uh, St. Vincent de Paul Clubs and Cocktails since the inception 17 years ago in 2003. Uh, I think every single year, Oxmoor Toyota has been involved in some sort of capacity. Um, this year, they're sponsoring the hole-in-one contest. Right. And it's a really great um, opportunity for organizations throughout the community to get involved um, and give back to the community. And we really, really rely on these organizations um, to help us fulfill our mission of feeding the homeless, mm -hmm. um, providing homes for those living in poverty. Um, so every little bit helps. Right. Now, is there anything right now that you guys specifically need um, for this? So I think um, with the pandemic, we're trying to have a successful event since it's outside. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to be able to socially distance everyone and then they'll be out on the golf course. Um, we have sold out of teams 
for um, this year, mm -hmm. but we will be having an online silent auction starting on September 18th. Um, we will be posting it on our social media and our website. Um, so you can definitely take a look at that. Um, and we're also gonna be starting a couple of raffles. I will say bourbon, but I won't say <laughs> what the bourbon is yet, but it involves more than one bottle of this bourbon. Um, so stay tuned, it will all be posted um, a little bit before September 18th. We'll have some previews on our website. Um, and that's a great way um, not only to support St. Vincent de Paul, but maybe get a little bit of bourbon or different auction items at the same time. Right, that sounds great. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. Really appreciate it. And before we leave, where are we right now? This is the food pantry, right? Yes. So okay. this is our food pantry. This is the sixth year that's been running. It is run 100% by volunteers. Uh, about seven or eight years ago, their care needed help with a new pantry. They'll be part of the town area. So Davis and Paul stepped up and said, yes, of course, we're going to help. Um, we are open on Tuesdays and Thursdays for uh, the 40203 zip code. And we're open from 9 to noon. People can come a couple times a month to get USDA food, their produce, uh, different items. Um, and so since the pandemic, we've had to package everything in advance. Typically, it's a set it up like a grocery store where you can come in with your grocery cart and you can pick your different items because if you don't like Brussels sprouts, right. we don't want to give you those and it's just being wasted food. But right. if you like green beans, we have the green beans and you can take those instead. Right. So um, we never shut down, we just completely shifted what we did and our amazing volunteers have been doing this from the beginning said of course we'll be here, we're going to help everybody still be able to eat every day. Right. That's, that's awesome. It's really great that they're able to still do that. Thank you so much, Thank Abigail. You. It's a pleasure being here. Thank you. All right, guys, any questions, I will have all of their contact information listed below. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.